Traditionally, Volvo cars have been very safe, and I mean it in every sense of the word. They make some of the safest cars in the world, they are the forefront of advanced driving assistance systems, and their cars have the safest designs. Volvo's boxy silhouette from the 200 series is still etched in our minds, but in recent years, they are trying to shed their grandfather vibe with their new lineup of cars. And this XC40 is their shot at appealing to the younger audience. This car review episode is powered by the all-new Petronas Premax 95 with Pro Drive. The XC40 was first presented to the world as a 40.1 concept back in 2016, where Volvo decided to build a premium compact car that will attract potential customers who are driving other brands. After extensive market research, this is what they've come up with. A premium compact SUV with an expressive design that is perfect for the daily commute in the city. But is it as good as they advertise? We'll find out today. You can tell that Volvo is stepping out of their comfort zone with the XC40's design because the car was penned with a two-tone paint job in mind from the start. In Malaysia, you can order the XC40 in its hero colour crystal white or go for bolder options such as bursting blue or fusion red. There is also an osmium grey option if you prefer to blend in with the surroundings. But regardless of which colour option you go for, they all come with a black roof as standard. I'm a big fan of bright colours and shouty bits, so I'm gonna jump straight to the Fusion Red XC40 because 1. It has additional bits on it, 2. It has the largest wheel size among the lot, and 3. I'm wearing colour matching pants. Malaysian buyers will have the R Design Pack as standard and I think it's the most suitable design kit for this handsome looking SUV. The gloss black finish on the R Design grille, side mirrors, roof rails and rear spoiler ties in really nicely with the black roof and gives the car a lowered stance. Now this particular unit has the optional exterior styling kit which adds a brushed stainless steel finish onto the front and rear lower bumpers, side panels as well as extended winglets onto the rear spoiler. Which, by the way, optimizes airflow and reduces turbulence at the rear of the car. There are a range of wheel options ranging from 19 to 21 inch in diameter that can be fitted onto the XC40. And this one here spots the 20 inch 5 double spoke matte black diamond cut alloys, which I think fills up the arches that bit better than the standard 19s. If you plan to take your XC40 on a weekend excursion, be sure to get the roof racks to safely secure whatever it is you're carrying. The exterior styling kit also changes the dual tailpipe trim to quad outlets. But in case you're wondering, they are not connected to the actual exhaust system. Volvo is one of the more mindful car companies out there because they know that you have to use the hands-free operation for the powered tailgate, chances are you have your hands full just like this. So instead of having a sweeping motion that might upset your balance when carrying things, on the XC40, all you have to do is just kick right under the number plate. And voila, it opens up to 460 litres of boot space. Oh, by the way, the sensor is offset slightly to the left. The XC40 prides itself with clever use of storage space, and in the boot, you can raise the false boot floor to create a separate compartment to store your stuff. You also get three hooks to hang your tabal stuff. But if you ever need more space, you can always remove the passer shelf and fold the rear seats down. The XC40 is also the first ever Volvo to have a dedicated compartment to store your rear parcel shelf right underneath the false boot floor between the Space Saver tyres. Jumping into the XC40, you find lots of familiar cues taken from the 60 and 90 series models like this 12.3 inch LCD instrument cluster, 9 inch portrait layout sensors touchscreen infotainment system and an electronic gear selector. Although not in the fancy orifice crystal finish. This being the R design trim, you get unique items such as a three-spoke multifunctional sport steering wheel with pedal shifters, Nubuck and leather mixed sport seats, charcoal headliner, and this cutting-edge deco inlay. But those are not the main talking points of the XC40's interior. What's so special in here is how the designers have put together a cabin that's virtually clutter-free by introducing functional solutions to store your items. And the best part? Everything is within arm's length of the driver. Let's start with the side door bins. Volvo has moved the speakers from here to the world's first air-ventilated dashboard-mounted subwoofer. And by doing so, they have freed up ridiculous amount of space in the side door bins. A 17-inch laptop and a 1-litre bottle. No problems at all. There's a neatly integrated hook in the passenger side glove box where you can hang your Ikatepi copy ice. 
On the driver's side, you have a parking ticket holder and two card holders down here to hold your access pass or touch and go cards. Above the Qi wireless charging tray, rubberized no less, there's a little compartment where you can store your loose change. And the centre armrest can hold a full-size tissue box. Here you have a detachable bin that you can dispose anything that doesn't spark joy. This is by far my favourite part of the XC40's cabin. Back here, things start to take a bit of a downturn because you don't have as much usable space as the front seats. Shallow side door bins, a little compartment here, one netting and two cup holders, and that's about it. Interestingly, this is the first modern Volvo since 1970s to feature a central tunnel air vent, while other models have them on the B pillars. And underneath those air vents hides a USB Type-C charging port. Knee and headroom is pretty decent back here, but you do sit a tad too upright and the seats don't recline either. The bench is also a bit too short, depriving you of good thigh support. Volvo's positioning of the XC40 being a city car can clearly be felt at the first turn of the wheel. The steering wheel at low speeds is extremely light and the car is very obedient towards your steering inputs, making driving around town an extremely pleasant and enjoyable experience. The manoeuvrability is complemented by the stellar ride quality and I'm not exaggerating one bit. Despite riding on the sport chassis as standard, which gets you stiffer springs and roll bars, the car is extremely pliant over undulations. Extremely pliant! It filters out undulations like how a proper SUV should, sending nothing more than a gentle nudge to your back. These upsize 20 inch alloys and lower profile 245-35 rubbers just further shows how well calibrated the suspension is. So go ahead with the bigger wheel option because you will not compromise on ride comfort. I've mentioned in a previous video that the T5 Tune is my favourite Volvo powertrain. There's no complicated hybrid systems and none of that twitchiness you get from the twin charge T6 engines. What you get here is a very conventional 2-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder drive E petrol engine pushing up 252 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque. An 8-speed automatic transmission is tasked to send drive to the permanent all-wheel drive system. With those output figures, the XC40 is the most powerful car in its class, able to sprint from 0 to 100 in 6.4 seconds onwards to a top speed of 230 km per hour. What I like about this engine is its predictability. You get a mild lag from down low, then a strong surge of torque all the way up to the 6,000 RPM red line. The car feels pretty quick too, despite lugging around a curb weight of 1,704 kilograms. If you happen to come across a stretch of twisty bits, the XC40 will reward the driving enthusiast. The chassis is really eager to change direction, and the car feels very neutral around the bends thanks to the all-wheel drive system. The strong engine and sticky Pirelli P0 tyres makes this a really fun car to drive. Take it onto the highway and the XC40 will show you its more mature side. The cabin is well insulated all the way up to triple digit speeds and all you're getting actually is just a bit of a tyre roar and I blame the P0s for it. Just indulge in the music playing through this wonderful 8 speaker setup and you'll be in your own world. The XC40 is also the only car in its class to offer advanced driving assistance system. What Volvo calls it, IntelliSafe. It bundles autonomous emergency braking, lane keeping aid, blind spot information system, rear cross traffic alert with auto brake, run off road mitigation, as well as pilot assist semi autonomous driving. Now, I cannot stress this enough pilot assist is merely a driving assistant feature to help you reduce fatigue on long journeys. Do not for a moment think that the car can drive itself from JB to Penang while you take a nap behind the wheel. No, nothing like that you still have to pay attention to the road ahead of you at all times. I absolutely adore the XC40, but there are some quirks that I'm not too fond of. Because Volvo banks on about the XC40 being a city car, I was quite surprised to find that the automatic start-stop engagement was not as smooth as what I expected it to be. When you're pulling away, you feel the engine starting up quite roughly, and for a premium car, I feel that that's a little bit of a letdown. But what baffles me even more is how choppy the auto hold function is. When auto hold is active, it's fine. But when you want to get going again, you feel the brakes mechanically disengaging. It reacts almost one second after you apply the throttle, resulting in the car to suddenly leap forward. This calibration is really unacceptable for a car that carries a 255,000 ringgit price tag. But all in all, as a whole package, especially with all the onboard safety features, 
these are really not deal breakers. So is this car for you? Well, if you're looking for a chic and premium SUV that's fun to drive and can complement your life in the city, then yes. But if you're looking for a people carrier that you can comfortably ferry your friends and family around every day, then probably not. For more information of the all-new Volvo XC40, do log on to odobus.my. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Click on the bell icon to receive a notification whenever we upload a new video. As always, thanks for watching. My name is Adrian and I'll see you guys in the next video. This car review episode is powered by the all-new Petronas Premax 95 with Pro Drive. Move like never before. Pick one. How do I look? Or go for bolder options like Bursting Blue or Fu... 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 If you happen to come across a stretch of sticky roads, sticky pula. Nampak tu. Nampak tu muda payong. Lonely. I'm so lonely